Who do you trust? How do you trust somebody? Why do you see the need to trust somebody? Hi everybody, welcome to We Pillow Talk. It's with you. <laughs> Today we're going to talk about trust. Trust, trust, trust. Trust is the foundation of any relationship. Without trust, there's really no relationship. You know, I've come to realize and see how so many of us live in the, uh, self deception, assuming that's trust. We deceive ourselves. Who are we deceiving? The other person or you, the friend or you, your parents or you, your husband or wife or you. Who are you deceiving in a relationship? You know, core, the importance. I mean, without trust, there's really no relationship. And once trust is broken, it's not mended in a day. It's not. <laughs> I've come to realize, I read somewhere, which really blessed me. And I'm going to put it in such a way. To me, trust is something you build along life and along the way. And it's so easy to lose trust in one day. But something you've built for 20 years, to lose it in a day. To lose it in an hour, in a second. It'll take you another 20 years. That's one thing you have to realize. It'll take you another 20 years to build that trust. That is if you want to. If you want to work in it. And we all, none of us can say, I've gone through life where I have not broken a trust that somebody has said or that somebody has done or whatever. It may be, but we all have gone through life, either being trustworthy or not so trustworthy. And the only way when you broke a trust is to find out what made you break that trust. And until you do that, the tendency is you will repeat it again. Because you have not taking time to diagnose where you went wrong. And so you're able to, to make it better. You're able to train yourself. You're not even doing it for the other person, you're doing it for you. And the other way you can do is what once you know the trust has been broken. It's something to say, I am sorry. Not a lip service, but your actions will show how sorry you are. You know, we can all say, I'm sorry, just because you think that's what you want the other person to hear. Meanwhile, your actions, you're actually repeating the same, the same issues and the same problems. Trust in life. I've come to realize trust is like your bank account. It's like my bank account. You know, every time we go and put in money and we go and take withdrawals, you know, it's the same with trust. Every time the other person your husband, your wife, your friends, your mother, your father, anybody does something good to you. It goes in your trust bank account. And where every time they do something really bad, they withdraw from the account. And the only way the relationship that you have will, will still survive after, after a broken trust is because you have stored more trust in the account than you've pulled out from the account. And each party in it is willing to learn and willing to work and willing to change. You know, life is a process of where we all learn, we all change, we all grow in different areas and in different things. And if you're not willing to do that, it's absolutely impossible to build that trust again. You know, the first question you have to ask yourself is, Am I a trustworthy person? If you're not a trustworthy person, what's stopping you? You know, don't, don't, don't have, don't go in all self-deception and say, oh yeah, yeah, I'm a trustworthy person because people don't know what you're doing behind their backs. That's not, that's, you're not doing it for anybody. You're doing it for yourself. It's an exercise that you yourself need. I don't put money in your bank account. You don't put money in my bank account. I put money. I take it out. So how much have you stored in your trust account, in a relationship? How much have you taken out of it? You know, where there is a deficit, you will always have issues. Learn to go through life and make sure in your trust account, you actually have more trust. That people see you as a trustworthy person. That people see you as somebody they can rely on. People see you as somebody that they can 
a shoulder to cry on, somebody that they know that if I tell this person something that's really hurting me, it will not be like the latest thing on Facebook that everybody would read. Because people always, you have a friend who also has a friend, you know, and everybody talks. That. In, the, in the past, I always thought only women actually talk a lot, but I've come to realize men also do the same. You know, so there is nobody who would say, ah, I've gone through life without breaking any trust. If you have, my God, hands up to you. Well done and keep it up and it'll be nice to know so we can, you can tell us what the secrets are and how people would go through life not breaking any trust because we all need it. We live in a society where it's myself, me and I that's become the core of life and for us to become better people we need to work together. We need to build that trust together. We need to be trustworthy people that others can rely, that others can see you and trust you. Not because of what, of what you give them. You know, trust can be based on what you can get from somebody, but who you are, how your character stands, how you carry yourselves, your integrity in the society will speak a lot for you. Let us all dig deep and become the beautiful and wonderful people that we created to be. Join us as we talk about how do we build a broken trust. Join us in our next video. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. Play with us. Check our website, follow us on social media, and do not forget to like and subscribe. Thank you.